Hello friends, myself Rakesh. I welcome you to UiPath Expo Hub. Today in this chapter, we are going to learn how to extract a specific text. So we will extract the due amount from an invoice and we are going to use multiple invoices and see the problem. For that, we'll be learning the next activity on usage of selectors inside GetText. So let's see how to do it. I personally request you to like the video while you go and please do comment your questions. The first activity that we are going to use is get text. Let me show you the invoices. I have got three different invoices. The invoice number ending with 100, 102 and 103 and there are different amounts on each of this. So my goal will be extracting this particular data. For that, I'll be clicking on indicate on screen, select the UI element below the amount due. I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to use a message box and here I'll be using the variable. Let me run this and see the value. You can see the amount has been retrieved in the message box. Now you have seen I have used the invoice ending with 100 in the foreground. Let me change this and try to run the same automation. Now when I changed in the foreground, in the background when I changed the invoice from 100 to 102, you can see there is an error that is appearing in the UI path. It's not able to select. So let's learn how to fix that using the selector. Highlight the get text activity and on the right hand side you have something called selector. Please click on this. Now you can see in the selector there is an error. It is not able to recognize just because we have changed the PDF. Please click on open in UI Explorer. Now click on indicate element. Now I am in the second invoice and I am going to select the amount due. Once you have selected, you can see in the select editor window, there are so many things which are highlighted and checked. So we will start from the top. Let's say I am selecting the first one. Here you can see the invoice number has been selected. I want that to be generic. That means any PDF I am going to open, it should be able to detect it. So you should uncheck this one. Now move down. Second, the select highlighted or checked indicator. And on the right hand side, everything looks fine for this indicator. Nothing to change. Scroll down. And this one also looks fine to me. Nothing to change. And the next one also looks fine. And the last one you can see it will only select when the amount is 3699 which I do not want. I want it to be a universal selector. So uncheck anything which is very specific. So you have to keep it universal. Now once I have removed all of this all the numbers has been removed which were previously there. Now this will become a generic one. So let's click on validate. And you can see that has gone green. How about me changing the PDF in the background and try to validate. This time I am selecting the third PDF and will try to validate. You can see after validating this has gone green. So that means this works. So let me click on save. So this time I am going to keep the 102 and see if this works then we will change the invoices. Let me run it. So you can see the amount 3699 has come. How about me changing to another PDF? Let's say the last one. Let me run it again. You can see the last value also has come. How about me changing it to the first one? Let me run it one more last time. 
so you can see even this value has come so this way by changing the indicator the selector indicators we are able to work on all different multiple files there is no error this time so we have learned how to use the get text activity and also we have learned how to use the indicator window and select the proper elements and remove the unnecessary elements because of which we had the error so this way you can work on multiple different pdf files even though the file name has changed however the pdf has to be in the same format so this way this selectors is going to work on all the pdfs so this is very critical activity and we are going to get into more complex activities in the upcoming videos thank you for watching you have a wonderful day i personally request you please to click on the like button that would help the channel thank you very much